Ariel is a young woman who is in love. She's going on this trip with her boyfriend at the time and she's expecting a getaway last second vacation in her boyfriend's family's cabin during the winter. So they totally think it's gonna be them. She's in love, she's ready to spend her life with this man. But things start to go wrong and she's not sure anymore if this is the man she wants to be with. Mother? That was my mother. Your mother? Yes. I, I thought, thought. No, yes, I thought so too. I thought we were going to be alone. Yes. Edna feels okay. Ping. Maria feels okay. Pong. Edna feels okay. Ping. So this can't go on. Or we'll all end up in the hospital with padded walls. So. I am being decisive. No. Yes. No, Edmund, you know you're the only one I love. Why do you be such idiotic about Maria when you know she doesn't matter to us? How can you say this? Because you know it's true. I think you are lying to me, Frank. You are always lying to me because you wish something would be true, but it isn't. You are a weak, spineless person, Frank. Feckless, feeble, and ineffective. Uh, we like to call this play magic realism. Um, which is a term that means that like we, we act like all these events are real, but there are things that happen that are very much not what happens in normal life. Not, um, and just agreed. just roll with it. Roll with it until you get it. And you may not get it, and that's okay. Just roll with it and take what resonates leaves what doesn't. Um, and just come to enjoy it, not to inspect it. Like, if it... Because it's, it's not real, real life. It's magic realism had a lot of fun working on this production and just like doing theater at Daniel. So yeah, I'm excited to do more in the future. I think it's meant to be kind of a dramatic show, but there are some comedic moments. I think sometimes where you just deliver one line and it's kind of not in the context of what everything else is going around or going on around you. I think those are quite fun. So I have one or two lines like that, which I enjoy a lot. I'm freezing my butt off, you leave me to drown? What the hell is going on? You had a tea party you had to get to? Oh, Hilda, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. She reminds me a lot of my grandmother um, with like how she is considered elderly, but you would never think of her as elderly in a way. She's very in tune with everyone else's conversation and likes to input her emotions into whenever she can, whatever she can. I thought you were gone forever. Oh God, I am so happy. What the hell? Did you push me in? You thought you'd have a little joke? Of course I didn't push you in. It's a lot of fun to read, but it's been even more fun to watch the characters, uh, excuse me, to watch the actors play out because they do a wonderful job of basically capturing the weirdness. I think we as a cast have been really good at working together. It's only a 10 person cast, so it's very small for like a main stage production, but I think that the director, Richard, chose very, without knowing, because he does, doesn't work here full time, but without knowing he chose the people that like get along like the best, that out of the group that, of people that were auditioning. So I think the cast makes the play really that much stronger, because reading it, it was very um, interesting, to say the least, but with the people that I'm working with, it all better. Love. Weird, huh? <laughs>